I have on my bench a Samsung plasma screen and an affectionate cat. Cat, cat, knocking my camera over here. It's a HPS back down. 4253, 22 53 this cat is driving me crazy. Yeah, meow. Okay, this thing's kind of working. Uh, let's take a look at what the pictures look like on this thing. screen we've got some discoloration on here as you can see I guess it's hard to see because the auto shutter on the uh, the camera is uh, kind of affecting the picture but we've got some pink discoloration here I don't know what's causing that we'll get the back off this thing and take a look at it and see what we can find it looks like maybe we may have a panel uh, bias problem on this thing maybe some capacitors are going bad so I'm just going to do an auto program of the, uh, the local stations here and see how well this thing receives off air. Uh, I was told it had sparklies on it and uh, well when I brought up the full white screen there it certainly didn't look good. But I'm going to go through the auto program and just see how, how it looks. And uh, this is a 720 panel. As you can see you can actually see the pixels on it. And the complaint I got when I received this is it's got no it's a noisy picture. There's a beast. There's a beast in my backyard. Actually this picture doesn't look too bad. I'm just looking at my security cameras on this thing. And for an analog uh, uh, signal, it doesn't look to be too bad. Switch it back over to the uh, digital input on HDMI, and uh, it uh, this doesn't look too bad either. I do see that kind of that pink overtone here on the picture. I can see it in the back. I don't know if there could be even burn in for that matter, but I, I do see something on the screen here that doesn't look normal. As you can see, when I put up the scrolling bars, I um, don't really see it so much. When I put the all white screen up, I certainly, uh, I certainly noticed it. Yeah, I can see a little bit of noise in here as this is supposed to. Uh, it almost looks like it's solarized and I know it doesn't show well on the camera because the, uh, the, the peak white causes the, the shutter speed in the camera to change so you get that uh, distorted image. Anyway, let's pull the back off this thing and take a look inside it. Now of course here's an, yet another plasma design. Every one of these TVs that I've taken apart, every one of these Samsung has been a different design set. I haven't seen any two that are exactly the same. So we have our signal board here. It does all remain processing. Our power supply board is up here. Our X main, our common mode driver is over here. There's another little board over here. I have no idea what that is. It looks like a V-scan adjust. So this is a volt. Yeah, this is a this is a power supply regulator. It looks like. So power comes off the power board, goes over to the the V-scan regulator board, which then regulates power for the Y sustain and the Y buffer boards which are over here on this set and we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
looks like there's 12 chips. This is a, a 42AX YB02 panel. It's 10 years old from 2006. Almost 10 years to the day. Today being May the 11th, 2016. And this TV was manufactured on May 26, 2006. It's a Korean made panel. I can already see where part of our problem is. We're going to have to put some caps onto this Y sustain board. Yeah, dead giveaway, right? C5051. Top is bulging. Looks like it's ready to completely blow, doesn't it? So we're going to pull this board out and I'm going to go through here and we'll, we'll look at all the caps on here. This is going to be a cap job. I only see the one that's bulging, but if one's bulging, probably others are not far behind. So we'll do the caps on this TV and see whether that uh, fixes our, our, our problem with the picture, which basically, it's, it's hard to see on camera, but it, it, it looks a little solarized what it looks like. It looks like a, a, a voltage problem and bad caps will certainly cause that. So let's get the uh, the Y sustain board out of this thing and we'll start recapping this this television. So to remove the uh, to remove the stain, sustain board <laughs> uh, check, check this out. Check this out. This is a model Porsche Cadillac. It's a Porsche. It's a Porsche Cadillac Plasma TV. Okay, so we have to release this board. There's a couple screws on either side and another screw up here. That way we can free up the, uh, the main board. Gonna have to undo a few more plugs here, I think, to get to undo the connector over here. Just to free up some cords so that I can lift this thing out of the way enough to get the one screw in behind here and the uh, interconnect cable disconnected so that I can pull. I shouldn't have to take out these brackets. I should be able to pull the sustain board out by just removing the screws and undoing the connectors. So removing the screws and the connectors and the board should just unplug from the uh, buffer boards. Just a little bit of wiggling here and it will unplug. And then we can swing the entire Y sustain board out of the way. There is a big heat sink gel compound that goes in behind here, so that's to drain the heat away from the high power transistors. Keeps these connections cool. Without that, without that in place, these transistors will overheat and uh, we'll have a failure of the board. So be sure that this goes back in where it came off, goes right on the board, about like that. Let's take a look at the board and see what's wrong with it. So we have three capacitors on here that are obviously bulging. So we know that these ones, these three definitely have to be replaced. One's a 220 at 50 and the other are 100 at 35 and a 100 at 50. I have some new parts here, brand new ones. I'm gonna replace those three parts. I'm gonna check the other ones as well to see if other ones are also uh, going bad. But definitely these three have to be done. I want to try and repair this with the minimum parts uh, that I can. I don't want to start changing parts willy-nilly because first of all wh when I dispose of this TV it's going to be one that I either sell or give away. Um, probably sell it. You know I, I don't want to put wait, I don't want to put a lot of money into it because I won't get a lot of money for the set and um, I want to try and get this thing going as reasonably as possible and show you what parts really go bad on these things and what parts you need to change the most common parts these three being these are this is actually a power supply here this little transformer so these are one of the one of the power supplies that derive voltage off of the the main power supply to, to, to drive a specific voltage for one of the circuits on here I'm not sure which one because I haven't looked at a print for it but this is a power supply you can see the little optocoupler down here the regulator so Right, get a little optocoupler down here. So this is a sub-power supply inside here, and these capacitors are going to be part of it. And uh, if I clean the board off, I can probably 
read what it says here for the adjustments and tell you what, what circuit it is that it tells me. I don't know, it might not even tell me what they do, but there is a little trimmer here, but it's not it's not labeled as to what it does. It says YRR, whatever that means. But I'm sure it's something to do with the with the, the, the pre-charging of the uh, the Y sustain board. Anyway, let's get these uh, parts changed. I'm going to get the ESR meter out and we'll test a few of the other ones as well, but for sure these three have got to be done. If we look at the ESR meter here on the the parts that we know for sure are bad. You know, 1.2 ohms, that's bad. Because it should be, it's a 100 microfarad, it should be like 0.07. Or 0 0.7, sorry. No, wait a minute. Uh, it should be 0 0.3 for the voltage of this. Same goes for this one here and it's coming up at 3.4 and this other one back here, this is the 220, it's coming up at 6.6 .6, and it should be 0 .1, 0 0.3 as well. Looks like, no, 0 0.16. This is, point, this is 6.7. Some of the other ones in the circuit here, of course, these ones are measuring okay, 0. 09 right so 0 0.09 so these other ones here that I'm checking here these ones are are okay these other caps it's just these three that are really bad 0.8 what size of cap is that one well, that one is a uh, 200 volts 47.8 47 at 200 volts yeah 0.8 so that one's okay. Looks to be just those three. So we'll get the soldering iron warmed up here. Let's uh, change those three out and see how this TV looks. I might get this. This might be a real quick repair, which will be nice. So we'll just heat up the pins and pull the capacitor out. This is a a plated board, so it, it, you actually got to put a fair bit of heat on these things to get them to come out. I already done one. I just have two more, this one and the last one. And then we'll put this back together and see how it looks. But I'm betting that that's all that's wrong with this is, is that uh, these capacitors are uh, are bad on this one. one in. One more to go, which is this one right here on the edge of the board. Same thing. We'll just heat it and pull it out and then clean up the board once we've pulled out the cap. Okay, I've replaced the three capacitors. The capacitors were changed where C's 50, so 65, yeah 5065 right here. C5024 over here and C5051 over here. Those are the three that were bulging. Those are the three that the ESR was through the roof. Those are the only three I've changed. Sliding the board back in, reseating it to reseat the three connectors. Line the board up with the mounting holes. Let's replace the screws. To replace the four mounting screws, snugging them in good because these are critical grounding screws. Also, I like to make sure that the grounding screws on the buffer boards are tight as well. Connect the signal cable here. And the power connectors. Of 
course making sure that we get the pins correctly lined up. Okay, the two power connectors on. We'll reseat We'll reseat the main signal board, latch it in place, and reconnect the LDDS. The LDDS, squeeze the pins together on the side, it should seat down there no problem and then reseat the two power connectors. That were removed. And the main AC power cable. And then the three screws that hold the sub chassis. What we need to do now is I got the set running. I'm just gonna calibrate my voltages here. Some of our voltages are a little bit off. So I'm just gonna go about setting the, the voltages according to the panel. So we've just got the ground probe to the meter going to the chassis. I'm going to set my VA adjustment as 65 volts. So here there's a VA adjustment and there's a test point. So I just put my meter on the test point. I see I'm at 66.1. So I'm just going to adjust the VA adjustment to get it to exactly 65 volts. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing for the VS. It's supposed to be 195. We're a little bit lower at 190.9. So I'm just going to take this up a bit. Pretty darn close. We also have two other adjustments that are adjusted on this board here. We have our V scan and our V set. I don't know if you're going to be able to see what I'm doing here. The test points are underneath here, so I don't know if you can see it, whether I'm able to do it and see what we're doing here. But V set's one, minus 195.4. It should be minus 190. So we're a little bit hot. So we'll just bring it down. Minus 190, and the other one here is a V set. The V set is supposed to be plus 195, and it's coming up at 206. So it's going to bring that one down just a smidge. Close enough. Let's uh, take a look at the picture. I would say that that's a beautiful picture. Man, that looks good. It looks perfect. Gotta like it. I gotta love these plasma TVs, you know? Really, I do. This was a TV that was free. All I had to do was go and pick it up. 720p, a fantastic picture. Ah, it's an excellent. Free TV, three capacitors. Cost me like a buck in parts and a little bit of time to fix this TV. Now I can turn around and sell this and uh, make some money off it or maybe just keep it as a spare. What do you think? Not complaining. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.